six stop on the FIBT Wiesmann World Cup Tour for women's skeleton, Altenburg in Germany. And Katie Ulender, twice a winner already this season, in charge after the first heat. Teammate Noel Pike has pace in a strong fourth place. One of three girls covered by nine hundredths of a second, battling for the lead of the race in wet and rainy conditions. On a sled designed by her husband, the tall American girl put in a storming run to slip into the lead with three to go. Marion Thies of Germany finished off the podium in fourth place in last year's Altenburg encounter, but a great first run, topped off by an even better second effort, saw her stay in with a chance of the medals. The World Cup points leader looking strong once more. Gold in 2011's race went to Anya Huber. Another slip at the start, as in the first heat, didn't blunt too much of her attack, that came further down the track. She couldn't hold off her teammate, slumping not only out of the lead, but out of the medal positions. Katie Ulender last to go, defending her first round advantage over Marion Thies. Tricky run into the first corner, but it was a good slide. Six tenths of a second up going into the Kreisel. Then she entered Thies' territory. This is where the German girl found her speed. And Ulender came up one hundredth of a second shy of her third win of the season. Marion Thies claiming victory by the tiniest measurable margin. Noel Piker's pace making it two US girls in the top three. And win number two of the season keeps Marion Thies on top of the overall points lead ahead of a tied Lizzie Yarnold and Anya Hoover. Next time out, they head to Berchtesgaden in Bavaria for round seven. For FIBT TV, I'm Martin Haven.